first and foremost, I just wanted to send out my condolences to the Watson family, Jim Watson. He is a uh, pit crew member for Martin Truex Jr. He passed away overnight from a heart attack, and that's just really, really horrible news, sad, tragic news, and and uh, it's cool to see Truex go out there and win, even racing with heavy hearts, and they'll ease off the pain a little bit, so anyway, uh, now I got that out of the way, um, I want to get to the bullshit part of the race. Uh, first of all, I, when NASCAR announced uh, last January about this uh, damage clock for five or six minutes, I had a problem. I understand why they did it, but because of the safety reasons, but six or too many men working on the car, I had no idea that was a thing. I mean, how many pit crews are there? I mean, you got the tire changer, jack man, gas man, you know... Nine seven. I don't know. I'm just guessing. I don't really pay much attention to the pit crew as much as much as I should. But Matt Kenseth, as much as I don't like Joe Gibbs Racing, eh, I really do like Matt Kenseth. I mean, the dude is a champion. He doesn't have a fucking ride yet next year, which I'm surprised as hell. And he was working. His crew was working on the car, but. Then he gets disqualified uh, from the race for too many men working on uh, his damaged race car from that big wreck on the restart. It was like 30 or 40 some laps to go. Bro. First of all, thank God everyone's okay. Eric Jones especially. That was a big ass hit. Took the breath out of my, uh, breath out of me when I saw that crash. But um, yeah, I mean NASCAR. Even Kyle Petty said it. he doesn't like it, but it's just the way it is. I mean that's just what NASCAR does. They. I had no idea freaking too many men working on the car was a rule. I had no idea. I mean, Jimmy Johnson had freaking too many. He was on the damage clock. And he had seven people working on Seven crew members working on his car. But, um, of course, the last dude, all he ever did was went to the driver and uh, tear a uh, windshield off. But he was touching the car. But, I mean, as much as I love Jimmy Johnson, I'm a big Jimmy Johnson fan. I mean... That's just part of NASCAR. I mean, I just don't get NASCAR. I mean, Jesus Christ. You know, you got... Who was it? That, Greg Keselowski said uh, a few weeks ago that NASCAR is giving Toyotas an advantage. But I think they're just trying to cover their butts from this whole Toyota drama shit. I mean... I mean, I get the first penalty they handed out to Truex when uh, he went below the white line on the restart. But... And they didn't penalize Harvick, but of course he wasn't the leader, so I can understand that. But I guess the uh, during the uh, pre-race meeting that uh, the guy said specifically, do not go below the white line during the restart, and you will be penalized. So, and that's what happened. So, yeah. So this whole shit, Matt Kens, I think Matt Kens is done after what happened here. Yeah, he's done. He's not. He's gonna retire. I mean, you uh, watching that interview. He was pissed. He was disgusted. He was even confused. Like I don't understand some of these rules, man. I mean, I had no idea this was even a rule. So I don't know what do you guys think. I just had to go off a rant. I mean, I know I'm just wabbing a, a lot. I'm. I literally just walked in the house. So um, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. I know it's been a while since I made a video. I've been busy a lot, and uh, but. I'm, I'm doing my best to keep up with y'all, so tell me what you guys think of the race today. I thought it was chaotic, and uh, I thought it was bullshit with Kansas, but it is what it is. I'll see you guys on the next one.